this one. I'm back today to talk about the uh, Mia jeans from So Over It. It's from their ebook, My Capsule Wardrobe City Break. It came out years ago, um, and I've had the pattern for years. I I have made it in uh, denim before. Um, this is my first pair. It's from a lovely stretch denim that I bought from uh, Stitchy B. I did top stitching on this one, um, but my sewing machine really struggled with it. I was using a top stitching needle and everything, but it just didn't like the, the thick thread, I think. Um, as you can see, I also used a regular zipper uh, that works absolutely fine and it's uh, much easier to uh, shorten as well if need be. This is my first pair. I didn't have the stretch interfacing that you probably should use and you can tell it's it's sort of curling. Uh, I, I did make another pair of these white uh, ones I'm actually wearing today. Uh, you can see them in this photo here. This is a photo from uh, last year. There was a hashtag challenge for the sewing bee and I made <laughs> actually I made this Kelly shirt um, in that same hashtag last year. There are so many fun prints and with bright colours for um, stretch cotton, I, I just can't resist. Um, I've made a pair of trousers in this fabric before, I can't find them now actually. Um, but usually I get enough so that I can get a pencil skirt out of it as well. Um, these are a pair of Mia jeans that I've made in stretch cotton. Um, I actually put belt loops in this one just in case if they got too baggy again but in the end I haven't actually uh, used the belt loops. These have been fine, they haven't been too baggy. I think one of the reasons is that I've noticed that I make the same mistake <laughs> every time um, because I use a, um, smaller seam, a smaller seam allowance uh, on the side seams. I always forget that I need to cut a bigger waistband, so basically what I do is I, I just stretch it to fit, which works because it's it's stretchy material. So I think because the waistband is, is slightly smaller, it keeps the trousers up. As you can tell, I've used the snaps again. I did try, I think it was in the blue pair, to have a um, buttonhole and a button uh, sewn on, but it <laughs> the button popped off almost straight away so I had to redo that waistband and, and I put um, snaps on. These work fabulously with the stretch cotton. Lisa Comfort has a fabulous uh, tutorial on how to put the zipper into the Mia jeans on her YouTube channel. I can really recommend it. Um, this is my latest pair that I made last weekend. I've already worn them for work. When I say work, I mean working from home at the moment. Um, absolutely fab. Again, I I did use the uh, stretch interfacing. Um, again, I forgot <laughs> to cut a bigger waistband, but uh, but yeah, I just stretch it to fit, and and that works perfectly. Uh, again, I use the um, trusted uh, snaps, and. I use a regular dress zipper for the uh, fly. Um, one thing that you can see that I do slightly differently to Lisa Comfort's instructions is that my uh, zipper it is supposed to be even all the way up, but I tend to put it slightly inwards because because it's stretchy and if you have a squishy tummy, that then of course when you put the trousers on. Uh, the fabric is going to strain and if if I don't do that all of a sudden the the zipper will show uh, and I find that a bit annoying so I tend to l overlap them a little bit more so that when you put them on it's nice and concealed. One of the reasons I tried the uh, Mia jeans with stretch cotton is because there are so many fun prints of stretch cotton. The fit is good on the ultimate trousers but I find the the high waist of the Mia jeans and the the front zipper 
to be a better fit for me. I I bought this fabric from um, Sobers Faction and working in last year. My stash, fabric stash is taking over my whole room. So uh, with this uh, lockdown and everything, I decided to, I was um, going to shop my stash. Uh, and I usually, I have loads of um, trousers already that I bought and made. So I didn't really need another pair, but when I saw the fabric in my stash, when I bought the fabric, what was the original idea for what to make with it? And I thought, I'm just going to make what I originally planned. Um, so I made a pair of um, Mia jeans in stretch cotton. And of course, I tend to buy enough so that I can get a pencil skirt out of it as well. Well, that's all for now. Hey, Selena.